from your head to your toes, from your heart to your soul. Cause now I'm hurt that I would change. Cause now I'm hurt that I would change. From the way that you love, to your heart for the light. There's not one part that I would change. There's not one part. Your beauty is matchless Your heart is pure gold There's not one heart that I would change There's not one heart that I would change Erica, I love you so much and I'm so happy I finally get to marry you. I love your sense of humor, your patience, the way you support me. Most of all, I love your big heart. You're the most selfless person I've ever met and you brighten everyone's life, especially mine. I promise to love you without condition, to cherish you each and every day, to laugh with you when you're happy, to support you when you're sad, to be your biggest fan and your ever-listening audience. <laughs> I promise to have the patience that love demands, to guide you when you ask for direction, to challenge you to be a better person and to allow you to do the same for me. I promise during happy times and sad times, exciting times and boring times and everything in between, that I'll be your faithful and genuine companion, always by your side. You're my person and my soulmate in every way, and I can't imagine spending my life with anyone besides you. Paul, I love you. I'm so excited to finally be marrying you. A lot has happened since I met you nine years ago in the CAF. We've traveled to Taiwan. We've moved more than we'd like to. We've adopted cats. <laughs> We've lost jobs. We've lost loved ones. It hasn't always been easy, but I've always been so grateful to have you by my side. You ground me and support me. You stay calm when I can't, like when we got lost in the UP. <laughs> you treat me and everyone you meet with kindness and respect. You allow me to be my complete self, even though that can be pretty weird sometimes. <laughs> You embrace my collections of fat birds and, <laughs> and salt and pepper shakers because you know they make me happy. You always tell me that we're a team and I'm so happy that we get to be a team forever. I promise to support you and be there for you through whatever happens in our lives. I promise to love you when it is easy and when it is hard. I promise to challenge you to be your best and to accept your challenges to me. I promise to try new things with you and to always at least consider going on a walk or a bike <laughs> ride when you ask me to. <laughs> Thank you for choosing me back. I love you.
Okay, my name is Stephanie. I'm the maid of honor. I'm Erica's older sister. The reason my speech is first is because I'm not funny. Okay? <laughs> so, growing up, Erica and I always spent a lot of time together, whether it was playing outside in the sprinkler, pretending it was a portal to another world, or making a tent in the family room and watching Disney movies, or just playing another game, always in Erica's room because my room is too messy. <laughs> we always helped each other pack for long trips. I would tell Erica, this trip is 10 days and you have 30 shirts, it's too many. <laughs> And she would tell me, we're leaving in the morning, your suitcase is empty, maybe, maybe work on that. <laughs> we even went to the same college, Michigan State. And yes. And that's where Paul came into the picture. And like most great love stories, theirs started in the dish room at the cafeteria. <laughs> Erica was wearing a hairnet. <laughs> But I didn't get to spend a lot of time with Paul until a little later. Uh, one time we were hanging out his, his apartment in Grand Rapids. We were watching The Great British Baking Show. We love that show, it's great, very wholesome. So the thing about this kind of show is you really want to eat everything that you see. So Erica and I really wanted to eat cake and pretend like we were the judges. But we also didn't want to get off the couch. So Paul went and bought a lemon cake for us. <laughs> yeah, then we judged it. I think we thought it, it was acceptable. Yeah, a good sponge. <laughs> so since then, we've made many more memories. We went kayaking, and I hit a tree. Yeah, that was last month. Uh, we send each other cat pictures all the time. Uh, Paul and Erica even came to visit me in Taiwan, and we went hiking and biking, and of course we ate a lot of delicious food. Um, all that to say, I've spent a lot of time with Erica and Paul, and I love seeing the way that they support each other and work as a team. Can't express how happy I am for them. So, Erica and Paul, I think the world of you. I hope your days will be filled with light, and laughter, and cats. <laughs> I hope your hearts will be filled with peace and love. I hope you'll always find rainbows after a storm. And I hope you'll remember how much you're loved by everyone in this place. Yeah, congratulations. Let's raise our glasses to Erica and Paul. I'm Anthony, the brother, the handsome one. <laughs> All right, enough jokes. Let's get serious. Uh, unity. It's a word that we seem to seldom hear these days. Seems as though it's been removed from our lexicon, which is why I want to highlight why we are gathered here today. To actually celebrate unity and love. To put those virtues up on a pedestal and to cherish them. And to share those virtues in, with uh, literal strangers, might I add, which is very rare these days. <clears throat> the love of Paul and Erica have brought two entire families together in celebration. It truly is refreshing to see the joy that these two have for each other. When I was around five years old, I was ecstatic to learn that I was getting a baby brother. For those of you who don't know, my brother and I are adopted. I'm sure I can speak for both my brother and I when I say that we are truly grateful for our parents and the time they spent raising us. They led us by example and taught us what unconditional love and respect really look like. And I see that same love in you and Erica. I'm very proud of the man you've become, Paul, and I look forward to seeing you thrive in the future. And I have the utmost confidence in you to make that statement. In a world, at least for now, that seems to be defined by uncertainty, I take solace knowing that kind souls like the two we are celebrating today can still thrive, united through love. If everyone could join me and raise their glass for a toast. Ladies and gentlemen, to Paul and Erica. Aguri and salute.